hard drives, we've chosen two Seagate Barracuda hard drives. This one is 250 gigabytes. It'll be for installing Windows and our other programs. This one's a 400 gigabyte data storage drive where we'll put our MP3s, our digital photos, other things of that nature. In general, you'd want to have a faster hard drive for your programs and for your Windows installation because it would really speed up the way that your computer works. But to keep costs down, we chose 7,200 RPM hard drives for both, and that is really more than enough for what we're doing. One of the things I really like about this case is this removable hard drive cage, which lets you install the hard drives without having to muck around inside the case with a screwdriver. To remove it, you just unscrew a screw here, that, then push down on this lever, pull out the cage. When you're putting the hard drives into the hard drive cage, you might want to leave some space in between them for air circulation because hard drives do get hot, especially if you're doing things like video editing or audio editing or playing some games, you never know. So we're going to start by taking our 400 gigabyte hard drive and putting it in the fourth slot in here, just sliding it in between the metal railings until it reaches the end. You'll notice that the data connector and the power connector or on the side that's facing in the case. That's very important. Otherwise, your hard drive will not do much of anything. And we're going to take the 250 gigabyte hard drive for our programs and put it in the second slot exactly the same way. You need to use the special screws that came with the case for securing the hard drive. In this case, they're the ones that go into these rubber grommets here. Installing the hard drives in the cage here, but we're not going to install them in the computer yet. We have some other stuff we need to do first, beginning with the optical drives. With the hard drives all set in our internal drive base, now we need to work on our external drive base. To do that, we need to open up the case to reveal this section here. Our optical drives are going to go in this top slot, in this third slot, to help with the cabling. And our combination 3.5 inch floppy drive and multi-format card reader is going to go down here in the external 3.5 inch drive bed. This case is a bit unusual because it's got screws that hold in these plates over the external drive openings. You'll notice that there's no plate covering this three and a half inch drive bay. That's because when we put the computer together the first time, we lost it. It looked a lot like this plate down right below it. And to get it out, if you're opening your case for the first time, just grab it and wiggle it back and forth and it'll eventually come out. But in the meantime, we need to remove this door covering from the front of the case, which we will do by unscrewing a screw right here. These are the two optical drives we chose. We have a 20x Philips DVD burner and a 16x light-on DVD ROM drive. It's great to have two drives so that you can copy disks, but for the most part, we'll probably want to use the burner as our primary drive. The case also has toolless mechanisms for connecting the optical drives. Now, this can be a little bit tricky. Uh, you'll see the plastic restraints here. You need to push in on them and lift up this plastic plate so that you can see, see the screw hole in there right like that. That'll be very important when we put the optical drives in in a minute. So lift up the first one, do the same with the second one, and now we're ready to go. Before installing your optical drives, make sure that the jumper is set to CS or cable select. So take the drive and put it in the empty bay and push it all the way in until the back part of the drive is flush with the optical drive cage rim on the side. Back on this side of the case, just push in the restraints again and slip them under the holes there until it's locked in place. Chances are very good that you don't need a floppy drive anymore, but 
here at Computer Shopper, we are a little bit on the nostalgic side. We are including one in our system. The plus side of this one, though, is it's also a 9-in-1 format flash card reader. So you'll be able to put in all your little memory cards and have this work in your very own computer, whatever you want. Now that the drive is in the case properly, we're going to secure it with these two screws that we have placed here. 